hey, we're about ready to talk about a movie that could be really specific uh, and may be best watched without you hearing somebody talk about the specifics of it. So yeah. if you have any desire to watch this, maybe watch it. I do, I do think an unspoiled way is to watch this. Yeah. Sublime Magnificent. Hey guys, you know who it is, what's going on, when it's happening, where it's at, and why we're here today. How you doing? It is I, the sublimely magnificent big ugly himself, Omari Ellis Feo Grande on YouTube, back with another episode of This Guy Hasn't Seen. And as usual, I am joined by my co-host, one of my best friends in the world, El Director himself, Bill Smith. Thank you, sir. It's always good to be back. Uh, I love doing this. Um, Friends, get yourself a, a movie club with your friends. Uh, this week, really interesting. Um, we went, uh, as, as I've mentioned on here before, I like to, in one of my, one of my, one of my goals in my picks sometimes is to expand the boundaries of our list a little bit. Um, this is certainly one of them. Uh, it's kind of the perfect design uh, for this moment. And I didn't realize it until deep into this session when we started playing around with the idea of, well, what is something one can watch? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, 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 is, what is something that one could have seen? Um, uh, uh so when we started playing around with that, I at some point realized this and it went on the list quietly because I've never been able to just tell somebody to watch it and then they have to watch it without True. me saying anything. True. That um, is the power of this show. <laughs> uh, so this week we are watching and talking about In and of Itself from 2020 starring and created by Derek Delgadio. And I find it really interesting. There are, so just in the perfect encapsulation of this thing, um, I have two different bylines for the film from two different websites. All right. And I just want you to read, uh, I just want you to take them both in. Number one. Ma magician Derek Delgadio wows audiences with his mesmerizing tricks and autobi autobiographical story. All right. Okay. In, in, in and of itself tells the story of a man fighting to see through the illusion of his own identity, only to discover that identity itself is an illusion. I like the second, but it's also kind of goes. I, I like the second one just because it sounds more like the plot and technically what's actually going on. Because <laughs> the first one gives nothing away about his message, but also oversimplifies it. Right. It's well. It's two. It's like two examples of kind of like surface level and 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 inner guts yeah. of the thing of like yeah. Uh, you know, the, it, to some people, when I was trying to talk them into watching this, hey, I just saw this thing in and of itself. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, um, so it's a it's a filmed play. Oh, it's a film play. Well, uh, I mean, it's got so it's got magic in it, but but it's not. Um. I don't know. Like, you know, I saw an interview with uh, the creator, Derek Delgadio, where he was talking about how uh, magic is always designed to elicit a singular emotion, a like, oh, oh that kind of thing. That's what magic has always been designed True. to create. And so his theory in the world and how he kind of makes his work, makes his art, is his thought is, what if magic is just an emotion creator? 
an emotion heightener and magic has always been designed for that emotion heightener to be surprise shock awe but what if it could induce it other emotions right what if what if it could work the same as a tool with other yeah. emotions in the spectrum it's kind of a play on that <laughs> Is what I would say to people. <laughs> um, uh, so the idea that I was just able to say last week, Bill, what are you watching? And I go in and of itself. And then you say in and of itself. And I say in and of itself. <laughs> Done. Because I don't even think I asked you if you had watched it. I knew you hadn't watched oh, it. Of just course. I mean, um, given the context it's, of it that's not something i would have watched so it's right. and it's a it's a really <laughs> odd obscure pull i think yeah. even though it's pretty recent um oh, so it, 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 yeah that that pretty much goes into the why i hadn't seen it i was just like what what even is this i i don't, I don't think i knew who Derek dalgadio was either or gal gal Dario? yes okay uh, Del, Del, Del Gaudio. Del Gaudio, yeah. I didn't know who that was. Um, yep. So nothing like that. As far as, what, I don't know, I'll just roll into like what I was expecting. Um, I was like, well, Bill said, I'm going to do this um, thing or something along those lines. You're like, not necessarily movie, but in and of itself. And I'm like... All right, I have no idea what to expect, but having recently seen everything, everywhere, all at once, another title that's not tip a uh, atypical title or something, I was mm-hmm. like, this is probably gonna be random as hell, something random, maybe even silly, <laughs> you know. But I'm here for it. So I was then. That's. I didn't really have much expectations of it because heard nothing, got nothing. I don't read the by the taglines, or I try not to because I don't want them to tell me, uh, which I've stated on the show before. But for the newcomers, first off, welcome. Um, so yeah, that's what I was expecting. Um, random, something random, and initial reaction. I was not expecting 1989 footage at the start of just some kids. I was like, obviously it probably was for the main character or not main character, but, or was he the main character? Ooh. <laughs> um, I mean, that's kind of the point he's making with this. Uh, <laughs> so it was, you know, Derek when he was younger, but the second they showed the wall, with the various job title things at the very beginning i'm like ah. the i am wall. Yeah. yeah i'm like okay it's about identity <laughs> that's what this is going to be uh 522 time for a performance is awesome 552 something was 552 but it was a good perform some some kind of performance he's like this is oh five hundred the play was performed five hundred fifty two times in a row or whatever before this happened. Oh yeah 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 and okay. that is awesome. Right. Like yeah. five hundred fifty two performances of the same thing, especially with me not knowing what it is yet. It just said do 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 at the beginning and I'm like all right and then he starts talking about the rulatista oh the yeah the rulatista and it was a cool story you know given the subject matter but mm-hmm. it, I, I thought it was an interesting story to start it. and I figured he would answer the question of you know why am I the rulatista uh-huh by the end but it does it, it's just enough to put it in your head and then immediately move it to the back but yeah um and so i i i was 
confused for an early part of it because I'm like, what's going on here? But I think that's more because I just didn't know what I was supposed to be watching. Right. But, and so by design, I was slightly confused early on. But, and just talking about it and standout moments and stuff as well and mixed in. The first one I can think of with the book segment where he's like, who's coming in tomorrow? Yeah, I'm yeah, the, the about... like the storybook, <laughs> yeah. which is which even the lead into that I find I find interesting just as a cool thing to know now about like that's that is what the phrase the ship's log comes yeah. from is just like like literally that's like that's that's the whole journey of the ship and like and then the the the, the details about how they just have to like on cloudy days they just have to like kind of make up they they were just supposed to describe what they would imagine yeah. they're at and what the stars would look like in this moment kind of thing i thought was really interesting mm. and then yeah the story of the book sorry to interrupt yeah no i agree but and he talks about like it's made up of guests going home imagining what saying what happened as well as what they imagined the end to be like and he, he kicks this person out every day yes he kicks him out shortly before the ending every time and they got to come in the next day where i guess they actually get to experience the whole show yeah but they also get to be part of it because they read their prediction of what happened at the end and he sets them up he puts something into their head to kind of steer them of where they're going to go with the end because he asks them if they saw an elephant. And I knew when he said that, I got to look out for this elephant. <laughs> it's likely Did you see the strong. elephant? I'm like, it's likely small in a corner or something. I just know I'll look like a fucking moron if I don't find it. So I was like looking and there was a point to where for a second I'm like, oh shit, I'm not looking for the elephant. But yes, I saw an elephant, I will say. I saw a couple actually to deal with the point he makes in the whole thing. But no, I guess I didn't see a couple. I only saw one elephant. Yeah, see, I, I felt like I felt like there was multiple um, because I saw one this. I mean, we could just spoil it the uh i i saw the image of the elephant in the envelopes that's where i saw it i was like i found the, it in the in the in the mail slots um but felt like that was not one of the elephants that i found in previous viewings oh but that was the one that I noticed that time. That's the one that I noticed as well. And it's probably because he mentioned blind people feeling around something that ended up being an elephant. And I was guessing it was an elephant from his description of like each part. And I'm like, wait, I should be looking for the... It's in the letters. And then I'm like, and then once I finished the movie, I went back to look and see if it was that the whole time. Cause he had grabbed a few letters from up there. So I had looked to see if he, you know, had and or if it was always the elephant and it was and I got mad at myself. Like, damn it, I should have seen it sooner. <laughs> uh, so I knew I, I like I do feel dumb for not seeing it earlier than now. Damn it. <laughs> but that was cool. Um, so the book segment was cool and the fact that he set them up for the elephant made me pay more attention to just like I gotta find this fucking elephant and and the behind the scenes of that it's real like uh, the chances that uh, how many did you say it was 300 400 and something the showings? performances yeah 552 552 the fact that 552 people committed to returning the next night and actually did it yeah um is is honestly i would have i would have put my money against that i i don't know if that's me having less faith in humanity and that may be one of the many things that derek is trying to get across in this in this in this play uh um or, uh but 
yeah, man, that's crazy that that it was successful that amount of times. And as he stated, like, you know, some people didn't take it seriously. Some people threw in a couple of jokes. The one guy just put post-its <laughs> over, over people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then some people went super elaborate, wrote songs and wrote out sheet music in their pages and did little pop-up book pages and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that storybook thing is is awesome that, that's a great touch to it uh he followed it and it's just the idea of kicking somebody out and being like you you don't and like yeah. I, I the 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 deeper thing that he's trying to do is like the story never ends yeah. if you if i keep kicking one person out and they have to like make up the show yeah um i, I that doesn't hit as hard as to me as just like the communal effort of everybody doing this and then and then yeah returning um but it's still it's still pretty cool indeed um i like the card segment where you just straight up was doing card magic talking about like being a dog he 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 did it as a metaphor to being a dog and becoming a wolf and how he was a wolf in the sense that he hustled cards from people even had a cool edited in story of a black dude telling him some stuff. <laughs> I love, I love the, uh, um, I think it's black. Uh, he may not be, but he sounded like an old black dude. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker um, over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I love the phrase, the time between dog and wolf. Yeah. As referring to like dusk hour. Um, that's, that's just, that, that's just a cool idea. Um, so that superimposed on him trying to be this tough guy, trying to be, trying to live this danger life of, of being a card shark and, and all of this stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, superimposing that story again onto these magic tricks that he's doing in front of us that are magic tricks, but they're also how he used to manipulate deals and all that stuff, um, which are all true stories of his life. Um, so yeah, that's, that that's like the, the card tricks are the real meaty, the, 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 the meat of the, of the magic portion of it, I guess. Yeah. And now the second he got down and he started, and he has shown that he gave himself all the spades. I'm like, I'm just gonna go ahead because I've seen this punchline and sleight of hand tricks. All four of those are suited, and they're gonna be in fucking order. And sure enough, <laughs> I'm like, okay, there we go. I'm like, I, I, I called that part. I still, I know how you did. It. I don't know how you did it, but I know how you did it. <laughs> <laughs> and I still hate you for being that good, but I saw you, okay? I saw it coming. <laughs> I could do nothing to stop it, but I saw it coming. Uh, but no, I love that shit. Good card magic tree and stuff, fucking wizardry and all that shit. So that was cool. Wizardry? <laughs> yeah. He, he, yeah. He, I mean, he does something later on that's pretty wizard-like. Uh... Yeah, obviously his card tricks based on compared to like a shin limb or somebody isn't really wizardry. But. Right. Well, like we have to speak on the fact that like this entire show, he's doing this in this dry, watery eye, like constantly water. Like it looks like he just put down his dog of 15 loyal years boy he gets sad by boys. his own hands <laughs> seconds before he walks out on stage that's not funny. and then he has to do this show like that's what he that's what it feels like it does it, it, he, he, he just he's so his delivery is so sad and pained and when he gets to the break <laughs> story you you also start feeling it Wait. That is the peak of the of the yeah of that of that stuff, yeah. um, and that's 
that's that's the yeah that's yeah which i mean obviously in and of itself and the trick involved with the brick at the end where he fucking disappears and then he's like go find it on this corner you guys just mentioned and it actually ends up being yeah at the, the end of the film around the credits they're they're showing all of the fan videos of them finding it at whatever corner was talked about that night he's like no it's there but, but and probably which that man like i don't I, I, part of me wants to go back and watch all these moments, frame, like all these key to moments, like frame by frame. The, uh... But also, I don't want to, just in case, just in case there is something and it kind of ruins it a little bit. But in my mind, fucking nothing could have been done with that brick. Where the fuck did that There's brick your go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wizardry. It's okay. He's a wizard. He's he a wizard. In the corner. It's fine to believe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we talked about. It's fine to the... believe in wizardry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we talked about the the animation phone call uh, with the wolf. Yeah. Uh, uh, on yeah, the, that was uh, cool. Mixing in a uh, story about his mom. Right. The story about the mom leads into the most emotional part of this show for me uh uh and it is i think it is the peak of his concept of what if magic can play with other emotions and i assume somehow he is just using very basic sleight of hand techniques to surprise these people on stage with a letter from their loved one. Oh in reality, God. in reality, they are randomly choosing, like all the moments are chosen randomly. Like the audience is making them choose the specific pile or whatever. He's mixing them up. The 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 person that's standing up on stage who's about ready to read it, he, he even hands the entire pile to them. Yeah, and it says, like, pick the one that you like the most. I got rid of the return addresses. Right. And and all these people pick them and open them up, and turns out it's a personal letter directly to them from their father, their sister, their best friend. We don't know. It's not revealed to us how the how this is done. <laughs> yeah. So again, motherfuckers a wizard. Cause I, I, you're right. <laughs> He makes these motherfuckers pick a thing off the wall when they show up. Even tells you over the board, like, not everybody gets what they want on the first try. If you're lucky, cool. Sometimes you gotta settle for the labels that are left. So he makes them pick a label. He then picks the label. Now, and I'm gonna say this optically. Obviously, he has shit going on backstage. Calm down. But he fucking picks from a stack. Just a random stack. Just boop. Can the person who is a reflection, the person who identifies as a reflection, can you stand up? and come on the stage or oh, and it or any and they show it's not always a reflection it's a teacher a soldier a, 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 a good time random shit like that and he's like can you come to the stage all right here's a stack of random letters that i just took out of the elephant on the top while talking about blind people finding an elephant i'm gonna give you this stack of random letters pick the one that you think looks best random person all right, when you open it, it's going to transform into something that you really like, but that doesn't matter. We get to see the real show by looking at your face. Now go. I and mean, like... yeah, it's a really incredible presentation of also this whole concept of identity that he wants to do. Yeah. Because this person walks up having picked a card of like, boom, I am an astronaut, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I'm a ninja. And... <laughs> and and in 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 a moment of time they are literally transformed into a son or a mother or something like that uh yeah it's <laughs> and it's a, like you said a personal letter to them like people are talking about 
bathrooms they used to get high in in high school. Right. Uh, fucking nicknames for their dying dad from Parkinson's. It's like, yeah. holy shit, this is personal as fuck. And even then, like, that is probably his best. I'm like uh, illusion. Let's say illusion instead of trick yeah. in, in this movie. But right up there is what he does later on at the fucking. Or actually, that's the only other standout one I have from this. Yeah, well, is... that's the only thing left. This thing is also a real tight, like not counting the credits. Credits. It's like a tight one twenty. Yeah. Uh, so it goes. It moves. Although it's slow in pacing. It does end up kind of moving pretty fast because they're, it's 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 fast. Yeah, and when he gets to the end after he's kicked the guy out, and he's like, "I want," first off, I just want to say I know all you guys had to grab the names off the wall, and some of y'all took that seriously, and, or some of y'all took it as a joke and picked "I'm a ninja," or "I'm a whatever." okay and you didn't really care you just wanted to pick something that you don't really identify as and i get it there are others of you that put some thought into what you picked please stand in the audience and then he goes now we were talking about seeing things but i'll tell you what i see and then this motherfucker proceeds to be like if i say what you got sit down now it's implied that it's the first guess every time but this motherfucker proceeds to just look at every individual member of the audience and tell them exactly what they picked. Even, even if some motherfuckers whispered that shit to him before the show was like, or they were like, these people sat in these seats and he memorized where everybody sat. Okay, that's still ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> However he does it, it's ridiculous, but it's some sheer fucking wizardry of him just going like a mother, a good time, a concept, a boom, 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 a da 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 da, a da, a da, da, da hey, hey, grandma, hey, so and so, your highness. Da, 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 da. Uh, some people he would look at longer and then hit, hit him with like a nobody. And the person sat down. Because some people looked at him like. You don't know what I got. And then he said, and he's like, <laughs> and he just went every single person. And even to the point to where at the last person, he's like, and of this, please sit down. And then walks <laughs> away. And I'm like, he just called out everybody in the audience. And I don't know, like, I'd be impressed that guess what I wanted. But upon him looking at everybody and telling them what they are, personally, if I got called out, because I, I want to know how obvious it was that I was the whatever and this other person wasn't, you know, <laughs> how did you, how, did this guy, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. why would you have chosen that for me? Am I that <laughs> readable? But I think too much about what other people think of me. I feel like part of me felt like I didn't feel attacked, but part of me also felt targeted by <laughs> this suggestion. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to get Omari to watch. Well, Omari needs to see this. All people. He needs to need to watch this about self identification <laughs> <laughs> and the importance of labels or lack thereof. I think I think this is something that everybody should be watching. <laughs> everyone, spoilers, everywhere, spoilers all at once. Spoilers to my final thoughts. <laughs> everyone, everywhere, all at once. Um, no, it is good, but yeah, that segment was ridiculous, and that'll stick with me just. Those kind of things, because that is also a magician type, the whole mentalism thing, where you guess something about one person. Hell, even the letters, theoretically, but when it's that personal, like you can you can get a ballpark description, like oh this is so 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 and so, and you just and their own imagination can take over, and it says this, but no, that's not what happened. 
These motherfuckers <laughs> got a letter from their dying dad in the last stage of Parkinson's. How? Did he like and I'm uh, like, how? <laughs> wizardry. It's a fucking wizardry. Wizard. He's a wizard. And it's fine. It's fine for wizards to exist. The world needs a little bit of magic. Anyway, I guess well, I was gonna say, uh, I was yeah. gonna say instead of instead of the uh, what roles, yeah, since that's not really available, yes. there's only one guy on the stage. Uh, uh, what is your I am? I wanted to say I am, and then I was just gonna say Omari, and, but no, I need to come up with a serious answer for this. Uh, I don't know what a reflection means. Does that mean I am what you see of me, and I just try to match that? I am what you're looking I think, at. I think I think it means what you want it to mean. <laughs> I am a self-conscious individual. <laughs> no, uh, not self-conscious, because that that implies I don't like myself. Um, but I do like myself. I'm so weird. I don't like this. I am weird. <laughs> I am unique. I am one of a kind. That was another one. Yes, that, that was one of the ones where I'm like, uh, how, how yeah, you I know think, I'm one of a I kind think, and not this, you know, dying piece there was, over here. I think there was also freak and weirdo. I freak feel like and, I heard. Freak and weirdo were there, but for me, and I'm not so much weird as I am. When I say I am Omari, I mean, I am. There's very few like me, in my opinion. One of a kind. So one of a kind. I like that. For better or I worse, like there's not many, if any, other Omari Ellis's. <laughs> so one of a kind. Yeah. You? Um. Oh boy, I uh, you know, yeah. I didn't even think about my own. Um. It's really hard to not say I am ninja. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, knowing knowing myself, I would cop out and pick one of the bullshit answers in the moment. Potentially, there's like maybe a sixty percent chance, seventy percent chance. I'd probably pick I, a I, bullshit answer too. But. I, I, I end up doing that, <laughs> but real one would probably be something like, "I am friend. I am. Mm. I am friend. I am Ooh. husband." Though both of those are are. Are 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 most important things to me, really? I can see that. I agree. I should have said something selfless as well. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> I'm one of a guy. <laughs> but no, you are right. Oh, I don't know if loyal was on there, but yeah, loyal. But, uh, yeah. Good. Good one. Good one. What, since I've already given my little rundown, mostly, what do you, uh, what do you think, my man? So, it's obviously, I think it's a great piece, uh, to watch. It, it's good for a lot of people in the modern day who, they don't know who they are. But it's good to let them know they're not alone in that. Because yeah. at the end of the day, who among us really does? We, yeah. both, we both came up with answers on here, but we both also took time to think like, wow, what is this? And so and so. And not speaking for you, but speaking solely for myself, even as I was thinking to answer your question, it's like, I can say I'm this, but nobody sees me as this. That wouldn't make sense for me to say on camera. I can't say um, this, that, that, and the other. And then I tried to think of other ways to say the same thing. I did eventually get the answer I wanted to out there with the one of a kind or so-and-so. But the different steps I got to to get to that, even within my own head, I'm weighing it against what I think others see me as because I'm on screen. So it's very effective as a whole piece to help with the self introspection and self discovery. 
and like you said, it's something that everybody should see because I do feel like. 90% of the people that may be shooting too high, but I'm willing to say it will get that whole, especially if it's just suggested to them by someone they know. You trying to tell me something? This this is hitting a little too, you know what I mean? This is hitting a little yeah. too deeply. Are you trying to tell me something about myself? You know, and that is something that I think everybody needs to think of, which will, like, you know, it helps with the introspection because at the end of the day, even when he says this, he's like, by the way, he says he is the Rulatista and he's come to terms with it as he's shown that he is on stage trying to stack the odds against himself on what he can do and doing it anyway and consistently doing a show trying to prove himself wrong. Yeah. And, but then he says, but I'm also da 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 end of the day, I am all these things and I don't want to just be seen as this one thing. You know, I'm not an elephant. I'm a motherfucking magical beast of <laughs> undiscernible identity. Exactly, exactly. I think that's one of the biggest things that he's just trying to get across is, yeah, he is, he can be the Rulatista and the wolf and the dog and son and everything else while still also being something for himself in his own mind while the people viewing him are seeing him as something completely different and that could all be happening at the exact same time and all of them are correct and all of them are wrong and it doesn't and yeah i i i loved uh i loved his playing with identity through all of those things that he was doing and uh the presentation of it i know there's some folks that just are not really interested in place they're not really like it's just like their brain hasn't broken that wall of like what is it's a film thing of a stage what like i it's and then you try and explain to them it's like that's what you know most sitcoms are that's what yeah you know exactly the, tonight show or whatever anything just you pretend watch it's a also, sad you know. just pr pretend it's a sad episode of jimmy fallon <laughs> um <laughs> but uh uh I can understand that. So it's, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. And even, you know, there was a little hesitancy with me because I know, uh, I know you don't like to go dark vibes wise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and necessarily introspective wise. Fair. Uh, and uh so there was a part of me that was a little hesitant of like you know he could not like it and that's and that would be perfectly fine uh there are going there's going to be people in my life where i show them something and they're not gonna like it but um i'm i'm, I'm glad i'm glad you uh went deeper i'm really excited that you were able that that you watched it and went deeper than surface level and and we were able to have this conversation on it it was i think it was really cool yeah although nobody is probably going to watch this episode this is a very <laughs> this is a very selfish pick on my part it's okay i i didn't think anybody would watch the rrr episode because i hadn't heard anyone i knew mention that movie oh, I, <laughs> and then next thing i know yeah. I mean, I knew I knew that one was going to get at least 12 views. <laughs> I, I was excited about that one. I was like, oh, yeah, this one's going to be a banger. Here come the 12 views, baby. Yeah, we doing numbers. <laughs> yeah, but it's, oh, who knows? This may turn out to be good because, I mean, now more than ever, identity is important. So it could do numbers. Who knows? Maybe because it is something people probably have been seeing. But yeah, so that. Uh, was, what are we good? What are we doing next? So what we're gonna watch? Because I don't want to do that stuff. Like I said, we're gonna watch New Jack City. Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> That's what the uh New Jack City. New Jack City. That's right. Going back to that well. We're New going back to Jack the well. City. Anyway, I don't know what well you're talking about, good sir. But we're going to have a whale of a time. Anyway, if you want to have a whale of a time, you can watch other videos of ours on this channel. You can also catch me elsewhere on YouTube on the Whatever We Want podcast. New episodes every week, every Wednesday. Uh, I do that show with a good friend of mine and a good friend of the show. Damn, you holding it. You held it too long. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't you take held, it. You held it too long. It went stew. Ah, uh, <laughs> like ah, oh, you held it too long. Take two. Stupid jazz. There we go. Stupid jazz. Super jazz. Uh, you can also super jazz. There we go. Super jazz. Do that every week, every week, every Wednesday, whatever we want podcast. Talk about just that. Anyway, I also have a Twitter and Twitch. That's Giotavi. G I O. They're scared to have me back, guys. Get in them comments. Get in them comments. Get over to that channel. Get into them comments. They're scared to have me back. Jazz doesn't want me back. He says, no, no, Bill can't come back. I can't have him back. He's too amazing. It's too much power on the microphone. We can't possibly do it. Get in them comments. What? Y'all scared? Whatever we want. <laughs> you are. I you, you are. But I want to get it up too. I'm on both shows. It's not fair. No. Uh. <laughs> Yes, I also have a Twitter and Twitch, Giotavi, G-I-O-T-A-V-I. Come Come on in. Stop on by. Thank you very much. Bill, you got anything you want to say to the folks at home? Any shout outs or anything? No. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week with New Jack City. Adiosness.